What's up guys? Welcome to the first part of our Vue.js tutorial series. Here we're going to work on installing Vue.js and setting up a new project and this will just serve as a starting point for the future tutorials. So what do we need to get started? We'll need some kind of a text editor. I'll personally use Sublime Text although feel free to use whichever one you want. You can even use simple notepad or text edit if you want just as long as you have a way to write your JavaScript code. We'll also need a terminal or command prompt or PowerShell. This depends on which environment you're using. I think Mac and Linux is terminal and Windows is command prompt or PowerShell. You just need to be able to run some basic Linux commands. And we'll need a browser. I'm assuming if you're watching this tutorial, you do have a browser set up. I think Vue.js has some troubles with Internet Explorer, so it's a good idea to use Chrome or Firefox or Safari. Um, I think there's also support for Opera, although I'll be using Chrome as well. We'll also need Node.js. I'm assuming that you have some experience with Node.js and uh, using the NPM to set up a project and it'll also install packages as well. So in this tutorial, we'll start by setting up a new NPM project. We'll then install Vue through this command NPM install Vue. It's going to be very simple. And then we just need to add a script tag in the HTML head. And that's it. After we have our HTML file set up with a script tag, we've run the install Vue, then we're good to go. Now there are some options in the script tag. We can either specify a specific version or we can just use the latest version available. I think it's probably a good idea to specify which version you're using as once you release your products into a product into a an actual usable environment, a production environment, you it's always a good idea to actually specify the version just so that you don't get any crashes or incompatibility issues. So let's head on over to terminal actually. And what we're going to do is start with a, an NPM project setup. So I have one set up on desktop already. I'm kind of assuming you know basic Linux commands. CD will just change your current directory. I'm going to change mine to the desktop. I can do an ls to display everything here. Um, I'm just going to CD into a Zenva. An ls CD into view directory. Uh, there should be nothing in there. It's just an empty folder right now. Again, ls, there's nothing there. I'm going to actually start a new directory that is just going to be practice. So make directory practice and I'm going to cd into practice. So ls nothing there. Then we're just going to do the npm init. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the default um, stuff here. So that's fine. Okay, that's this okay. Yep, that's good to go. Okay, so we do the ls, we should see our package.json file. Right now, we'll just have the basic dependencies. However, we need a specific one. We need the view one. So we're going to do npm install view like so. And this will make sure that we are downloading and installing view. Um, if you need to provide administrative privileges, if you're using Windows, you can run the command prompt as an administrator. If you're using Linux or Mac, you just add sudo in front of your commands and that will make sure it gives you any kind of writing and reading privileges that you need. Otherwise, we should have that item in package.json. Um, I think we have, yep, node modules and the package lock.json. What we'll want to do is actually just open up package.json and create also a file, which is going to be our index.html. I think the default entry point is index.js, but we do want to work in an HTML file. So for this, I'm actually going to use just Finder. Um, I find it much easier just to use Finder and uh, this is Windows Explorer if you're using Windows. And we're just going to go ahead and open up this package.json file. So I'm going to open mine with Sublime Text. Um, that's just a text editor I personally like using. It's a bit small. There we go. Make it a bit bigger. We're going to change this main to uh, index.html. Uh, HTML, like so. Okay, we'll give this a save. Also note how under dependencies we have view. This is a current version 2.6.10. If you are watching this later um, on than when I recorded it, then this version may change. Okay, otherwise that's good to go. We are going to start up a new file here. Again, feel free to use whichever text editor you want. I'm again using Sublime Text. Atom's a really good text editor if you like that. You can even use an, a full IDE like Visual Studio Code or something. Um, this is just kind of what I'm going with. Now, this new file is just going to be our index.html, so we might as well save it right now. I'm just going to go to save as index.html. Make sure it's in that same directory that we just initialized. I just want to make sure, yep, view in practice. Okay, good to, good to go. Okay, cool. Note how it is an HTML file now because we added that extension. So we're just going to start with a really basic setup. Uh, I'm just going to set the uh, doc 
type to HTML. We're going to start with the HTML tag. Okay, there we go. It actually sets up. Oops, I guess we didn't need that. Um, sets up the head and the body as well. And we give this a title if we want. It's just going to be practice. You know, let's be specific. It's just going to be view practice. Nothing fancy. Again, this is uh, just to kind of practice some of the concepts. When it comes to our project, we'll start an actual project folder for that. Okay. So within the head, that's good. Um, we can leave this guy alone. We're actually only going to add the one more item for now, and that's going to be a script. Okay, so we're not going to add a type. I'm just going to manually type out the source. Now, it's kind of annoying to manually type out the source. You can actually go to view.js website and copy it from there, but I'm just going to type out manually for you guys. Okay, so this will be actually specifying a specific version of Vue.js. Like I said, that's a better idea when you're actually releasing a product to do that, because otherwise you may run into incompatibility issues later on. So this is going to be HTTPS. This is again, just getting the uh, version. It's going to be cdn.jsdeliver.net. Okay, slash npm, slash view at and then 2.6.10 slash dist slash view dot js okay and I just need to take a second to make sure I spell that right okay looks good to me so we are good to go all right so the way that this works is essentially we build our HTML elements as usual in our body and we'll put all of the view functionality in a script now view interacts directly with HTML elements so technically speaking we're putting some of the view functionality in the body here outside of the script but all of the instances and stuff that we create will be inside of the script tag so we may as well get that started right now I'm actually going to get rid of that okay so all of our view stuff is going to go in here. All of our regular HTML stuff is going to go in here and we're good to go. So that's it for now. We just wanted to get an install and a new project set up. In the next section, we're going to be exploring what the view instance is and how to use it to interact with HTML elements. All right. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.